So I have a super rare Kelly to show you and it's all thanks to you. Hello my loves, oh my goodness, I can't tell you how excited I am about this video. Yes, you saw from the cover pic, I have an Hermes Kelly to show you. It is something from my wish list. It is something so unexpected because my sneaky husband actually bought it. I thought I had missed out, but I'm gonna go into a bit of the story time a little bit later. So in this video, besides showing you my brand new Kelly bag, I'm also going to be styling the bag with you. I've also been reading a lot of your comments on one of my past videos on like video suggestions, and a lot of you wanted to see me styling my bags. So besides, you know, unboxing and of course showing you my beautiful new bag, more importantly, I want to show you how I would style it. And you're going to see a theme in this video because the color of my new Kelly is going to be kind of running through this whole video. So I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing because it is so classic. As I get older, I am buying less clothing items. I'm still buying designer ready to wear, but in terms of the fashion pieces that I choose, I want to purchase as much high quality materials like wool, cotton, you know, silk, those type of materials where it's just more natural. Anyway, a lot of you also asked, Mel, we want sort of some more mid-range luxury, more affordable luxury, but still high quality. So today I wanna to introduce a new brand to you. Some of you guys may heard of it, especially those Sydney ciders, because they've opened a brand new store earlier this year in Sydney in Pitt Street Mall and they're called Goelia. They've actually been around in Asia since 1995, but they only launched in Sydney this year, and their store is beautiful. It's huge. I noticed it straight away when I was in Sydney earlier this year, but when the brand reached out to me a couple of months ago, I have just been perusing their website and I'm loving what I'm seeing because so many of their pieces are classic, they're timeless, but they're really great quality. They're not fast fashion. They're actually, I would sort of say, mid-range luxury or contemporary luxury. So let me show you what I'm wearing. The first thing is, how can you go wrong with a striped top? But this is actually like more than 87% wool. You wouldn't think it is a wool top, but it's so breathable, it's so light. I love the ribbing. And I love that even on the sleeve detail, it's got that touch of yellow and it's not itchy, it's not scratchy. And I love it when it's got options. See the neckline, it's just a zipped neckline. So as you can see, I personally like to wear it open, but if you want, you can easily close it up and it looks so chic with the you know little lapels as well. So you can wear it multiple ways. Now for me, I've already worn this once. I'm wearing it with these gorgeous black pants. Now I have a lot of trouble finding pants that I love. I always love pants with a, a slit and this one has a front slit in it. And to me, it sort of elongates the leg. You can wear these to work. You can wear these just casually as well. So black and white never goes out of style. And so what I've paired it with is something classic that you always need in your wardrobe is a trench. Now, surprisingly, when I was looking through my closet, I actually didn't have that many trenches. I do have a Burberry trench, uh, but that one is in pink. And I love Burberry trenches. Like I think that's one of the most classic pieces, but I actually love this one even more. And the reason is because it has sort of less buttons. It still has the trench vibe. You can see it on the shirt shoulders and along the arms, you've got that belted detail and you've also got the belt, but you know, when you do it up, it just sort of looks more simplistic and elegant in my opinion. And best of all, all these prices from Goelia, they are like under 500 Australian dollars or under 300 
US dollars. So this beige trench is actually 100% wool, but not itchy, very lightweight, a great transseasonal piece. So the theme is, as you can see, I have paired it with my green Jimmy Choo shoes, my points, and also my very first Birkin, which is in the Malachite. I love this bag so much. And another question I got asked a lot is, I love green Mel, but I find it so hard to style. So with the pieces that I got from Goelia, I'm actually gonna be styling it with my green Hermes bags. I've done little mood boards for you as well. Feel free to screenshot them, but black and green is a combination that works really well. Likewise, with these black pants, if you wanna casualize it, black and green, like this is my green Hermes tee. I love their tees. This, you can casualize it just with these black pants as well, and then wear some sneakers. And I don't know, they just fit like a dream. So if you've been looking for black pants with a slit, get these ones, cause they are so, so well priced. Okay, so Goeli actually reached out to me a couple of months ago, but the reason why this video has taken a little while is because I've been working, of course you guys know, I always ask for the best, best code. So it took a while for them to approve it, but I have the highest code for you. So if you put MIM28, you actually get 28% off site-wide. So that's on anything. There's no spend threshold, but that's only for 72 hours. That's the highest they've given to anyone. And trust me guys, I had to push it. I do not make any commission from this. I'm just so happy when I'm able to save you guys some money and I will always ask for you. So of course I do want to thank Goelia for part sponsoring this video and giving the MIM fam the highest discount code. Another color combination that I wanted to suggest to you, white and green always matches. So that's another way that you can wear green. This top here, I've also paired it with these white jeans. They're 100% cotton, also from Goelia. And what I love about these is it's a cropped ankle length. I haven't had it adjusted. So for those girls that are not that tall, like me, I'm gonna list all my sizes down below. They just fit so well. And I really like the waistband, how it's just got that little bit of detail. So it doesn't just look like, a normal pair of classic white, actually they're sort of off-white jeans with slight contrast detailing, super comfortable. And then with this, I've paired it with my green Hermes Oasis sandals. And then again with my green Birkin. And the final piece I wanna show you style that I got from Goelia, it's their number one bestseller. And so I had to get it because as I said, black and white never goes out of style. And I love cardigans is this boxy cardigan. Oops, I just hit my box. So this again is like 85% wool, not itchy. This is so warm. For all of my followers that are in the Southern Hemisphere, we are going into winter. So this is perfect. I already worn this three times. And the first time I wore it out, I already got compliments. I actually love the gold buttons. What I love about this is the closure actually clips on. So you can wear it open like this and it looks great. I've just paired it with my MIM two-in-one singlet that I created for Lily Silk because it goes with anything. And that looks great with that. But to casualize it, you know how maxi skirts are really in? I've just got a denim maxi skirt and then I've just worn it with my Hermes white sneakers. So that is a great look. So you can open it up. Cardigans are so versatile. One of the most versatile pieces. That's why I own so many cardigans. Or you can also do it up. Like besides wearing this with my denim skirt, it would go with my pants. You can't go wrong with black and white and especially stripes. They are just a forever classic. This piece, I can totally understand why it's their bestseller. It is so well-priced. And you know what? This is a really great sort of like dupe Celine has something very similar, but of course it costs thousands of dollars, but this looks just as expensive and so comfortable and not scratchy at all. This is like 129 USD. This top is like 89 USD. I think the pants is even cheaper. Anyway, all the links have the prices. So just really great high quality pieces at a fraction of the cost. Okay guys, let's move on to one of my Hermes unboxings because it sort of goes with the next sort of theme and a few pieces I wanna show you. It's in here. <laughs> Again, you're like Mel. 
And this one I've been waiting for. I requested this from my sales associate and I was just waiting for it to come in. So it came in and this is, dun, dun, dun. Yes, another Rodeo Pegas, but this is in all over gold or this beautiful camel color. So of course, if there's an all gold version, I have so many gold bags from Hermes. So it's going to match so many of my bags. And yes, I think I'm just sort of sticking to the Pegasus or Pegas Rodeos now because I do have plenty, but I couldn't pass this up because yeah, I just think it is such a neutral colorway. Okay, so I had to bring down my Kelly 32. This was my first Kelly that I got. How perfect does my new Pegas Rodeo match? How cute is it? I love it with it. So, so cute. But I brought this down for a reason, which I will mention soon. Uh, I'll put it down for now. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you, which is very hermes -y, a great Hermes dupe, this is like 96% wool. And I think the reason why they've got other fibers is so it, because it's not itchy at all. I love me a two-piece set. Again, you're gonna see a theme here. It is this gorgeous cardigan in beige with the contrast in orange. And it comes with this skirt, so you can see it's also got the trim of orange and the skirt is elasticated. I think it's like 219 USD and then you can use my 28% off, but it looks so much more expensive. I've seen something similar in Hermes retail for, you know, just a few thousand. Of course, I love Hermes ready to wear, but this totally gives me Hermes vibes. And you would think that something like this with beige and orange, of course you can match it with, you know, neutral color bags like my gold Togo, which I showed you, but didn't I tell you that I would match it with my green? Another color combination that I wanted to suggest to you, if you're feeling more adventurous, is actually orange and green go really well together. So in this set, as you can see me wearing, I've just paired it with some very old, actually orange, Gucci heels, and then I've got my Malachite Birkin with it, and then I've just worn some Malachite VCA earrings. And see, it still goes, but it's a subtle hint of orange and green. Of course, if you wanna be a bit more bolder, I've just worn the skirt, I've worn my bright orange Gucci tee, and then this big oversized green cardigan that I picked up from a local Melbourne boutique, and it still goes. So with green, a contrast color is orange and it actually looks beautiful together. I also love wearing uh, green and pink together, but not many people think of green and orange. So I just wanted to present that to you as another option with my little mood board here, which I'm showing you now. This is great if you don't wanna go the full on orange and green, but this set is still so beautifully made. Uh, it's got the slightest bit of lurex through it. I can just tell it's crafted really well and at such a great price point. So that's the next thing I got from Goelia. Okay guys, are you ready for this? This is my rare, rare Kelly and I'm gonna unbox it and show you. So it's in here. Any guesses? Actually pause the video and guess what it is. So you know it's a Kelly, what color do you think it is? I've given you a hint already with the theme. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, let's unbox it. And then I will tell you a bit of a story. All right, so it came with the box and the box is slightly damaged, but it is I'm not sure if it's the original box, but it is the original dust bag. So as you can see from the dust bag, yes, it is vintage. And you are not going to believe this. So in here, I got, dun, dun, dun. Ah! Oh my goodness. Can you see what this is? This is a Kelly size 32 Cellier. So Cellier means you stitching on the outside. Cellier, stiff, return, relaxed. My first Kelly Cellier actually 
in a green emerald lizard. Lizard, guys. You know the lizard is my favorite exotic skin. You know, on my wish list video, I said I would love an exotic Kelly, preferably in a lizard. And why did I say it's all thanks to you? One of my lovely, lovely subscribers told me and about this. It was from an auction house, a very reputable auction house based in Sydney. They've been around since, I don't know, I think 19, mid, mid 90s. So they're super reputable and they had this on there. And it is 34 years old. Can you tell this is 34 years old? Like the condition is immaculate. That is why with a cellier, like if you like structured bags, look at it, it's 34 years old and look at the structure, it is sublime. Now, the thing is with any sort of exotic bags, it does patina. So because it is 34 years old, if I lift this flap, it has sort of like the outer color has sort of darkened or patinaed with age. And inside you can see, especially here, you can see it is a brighter green compared to this. But I can easily take it to the Hermes bag spa and they'll be able to like restore it, give it a bit more shine. But I don't know if they'll be able to get it as green as this. But overall, it has actually patinaed really evenly. Like if you look at it through the back, it is actually a beautiful, beautiful colorway. And you know, I will show you, it comes with, so it came with the original little dust bag here too. And inside it has the original strap, clochette in lizard. The clochette is actually covered in lizard as well. And the strap. So really you can, this might be a better sort of indication. You can tell with the strap like, when you wear the bag, it's not that obvious, but the color is a bit more brighter green. But honestly, I don't mind. So as you can see, it's slightly brighter, but I don't know if this was ordered later on because previous Kellys, it doesn't come with the extra loop for the handle. So it could be that the previous owner ordered this like at a later stage. So I'm actually really glad that they did because sometimes when you order an extra strap from Hermes, it takes like years. I remember chatting to Marianne about this and um, she ordered an extra strap for one of her Kelly ostriches and it took two years to come. So I'm just glad that I have the strap and Mar I showed this to Marianne. It was actually inspired by Marianne. I wanted an exotic in a bigger bag. I actually would love an exotic Birkin or Kelly in a 32 or 35 because I always thought, okay, should exotics be like in a smaller bag? But there's something just so elegant and beautiful about lizard being in a bigger bag. Nowadays, lizard is so, so rare. And if you do see a lizard bag being made in Hermes, it's usually in a mini Kelly or a Kelly pochette, sometimes a Birkin 25, but they don't really make them in the size 32 anymore. And that's what I love it. Like, just look how beautiful it is. It is just stunning, absolutely stunning. So inside, of course, I already have a 7RP insert. You guys know I love 7RP inserts. I keep getting asked, do I have a discount code? And yes, if you click below, I do have my, the highest code available still, but you need to click the link below and then it will automatically apply the discount. But these are the you know, I've always said it, creme de la creme of Hermes inserts. I highly recommend them. Machine washable, soft but structured, made of, you know, the highest quality material, Alcantara. And yeah, it is just water resistant and I love this. So if you've got an Hermes Kelly or Birkin or Evelyn, they actually make inserts for heaps of the Hermes bags, Chanel and Dior as well, but definitely, all my Hermes babies only have 7RP inserts. And I picked a contrasting sort of off-white color. As I said, green and white always goes, but of course you can pick a tonal color as well. And I know a lot of you are probably gonna be wondering, okay, Mel, how much did you have to fork out for this? The thing about Hermes and why they 
a lot of people do buy them for investment is even though this is 34 years old, I still had to pay quite a lot for it. Still less than what retail would cost because if you were to buy a lizard bag from the pre-loved market, it would easily cost you 50,000, 60,000 USD. I don't even know what the price is from the store because they don't make Kelly 32s or Birkin 35s in Lizard anymore. Well, not that I've seen. So the reason why I said I was so shocked is when I had the listing for this, I thought I had missed out for it because I completely forgot about the auction, but I did tell hubby about it. And then by the time I went to the auction, I saw that it was over and I'm like, oh my God, I missed out. But hubby actually bought it and he got it at such a good price. So it's still really expensive guys, but he bought it for 30,000 Australian dollars, which is just under 20,000 USD. And then with auction houses, let me know if you want to make, if you want me to make a separate video on this, on buying through auction houses, cause you do need to be careful, but this one is super reputable. There's always a premium. So sometimes the buyer's premium is anywhere from 20 to 25%. So then you've got to add that on top. But either way, it, it is still way, way under. Um, even with the buyer's premium, just it comes to maybe just under tw maybe 24,000 something USD. That is the price of a regular Togo Birkin if you were to buy it on the pre-loved market now. That's why Hermes, Kelly's and Birkins retain their value so much. But I don't buy it just to resell it. But that is my new Kelly. Is it not stunning? I am just so, so in love and I love the 32. It does not look too big at all. And so this is why I'm gonna style it because a lot of the misconception is the Kelly 32 just looks like a humongous bag, but it doesn't. It really looks elegant. And actually Marianne from 7RP, the founder, if you haven't seen my interview with her a couple of years ago, I'll link it above. All her bags like are 32s or 35s and it is so, so chic. So let me tell you how I would style this beautiful emerald green lizard bag. Okay, so what else can you wear with a green bag? I think this year chocolate brown is huge. And so I picked another trench from them. This is in 100% wool as well. But this one is slightly different because it doesn't have the belted sort of detail up the top and that's what I wanted. It's got this little small lapel here, it's got a belt and then I picked the matching pants and I love these pants because look at this, I think all pants should have this. It's got that little bit of elastic so it makes it so so comfortable. Again, both of them 100% wool, not itchy at all. You can tell the quality of the material is really good. And for this trench, it's like 349 USD. I mean, for a full 100% wool trench, how good is that? So I love this. And so how I've paired this is I've paired it with, again, my MIM 2-in-1 singlet in brown. So it's an all brown look. And I've worn this Kelly handheld just with some brown heels. Brown and green is such a beautiful, rich combination. Great for autumn, winter, for us, you know, in the Southern Hemisphere. But don't think brown is limited just to, you know, autumn or the winter months. You absolutely can wear brown in spring and summer as well. I think there's that misconception that brown is only like a wintry color, but absolutely not. This is such a a gorgeous set. I am great for work, but again, these are great separates as well. So that's the first combination, brown and green. So another thing that you can pair with emerald green or a darker green is beige or light khaki. And another piece of clothing that will never date and you always need in your wardrobe is just a really nice suit. I know a lot of people are going back into the office, but again, I've chosen pieces that you can wear separately. And get this, this is the first time I've seen a range. They've created a range and they're just adding to it where this range is all machine washable. So this is like a light khaki beige pants and I've picked the matching suit. I love that these pants just fit so well. They're sort of slim and tapered, 
but they are also 97% wool and 3% elastane because I always like fabric to have that little bit of stretch. So how I've paired it is I've worn it again. Seriously, my MIM 2-in-1 singlets I wear all the time. I've worn it with the emerald green, with my green Jimmy Choo pumps and the Kelly as well. You can wear it on the shoulder or handheld. So just because you have a suit, don't be afraid to wear it separately with other items as well. But I just love how this suit looked. It just looks, yeah, it'll be great for meetings. But also great as well to dress up or down as separate pieces. And this one, I was so surprised when I saw the price, I think the pants were like 113 USD or something, and the jackets are only 139 USD, which is amazing for washable wool that you can chuck in the washing machine. Like usually with wool, you have to hand wash. So have a look at that whole range because they've got a whole range of washable wool, which for me is a first and super innovative. And I just think they've done a very good job on that range. Also just quickly wanted to give some more summary options for all my Northern Hemisphere followers. Like I said from the start, black and green go really well together. Again, you're gonna see a theme. I love a two-piece. This comes in a two-piece set. It's made from predominantly lyocell, which is really wrinkle resistant, super comfortable, again, elastic band waist. But what I loved about this set is that you can wear it separately as well. So anything that I've mentioned, you could wear this with the pants, you could wear this with the white jeans. I just love how it's got that little twist detail, which makes it a bit more interesting. So that's just a great summary option for you guys. Super great price point as well. And the final piece, which is one of my faves as well, and it's sort of Australian theme, is this gorgeous dress. I love florals, but this is actually wattle. So it's very kind of Australian. This is a great sort of Dolce & Gabbana or Oscar de la Renta dupe. I've seen this go for like five, $6,000. And again, this is only like, you know, a hundred and something USD, something like that, 100% cotton. But how I would pair it is I could wear it with my white Kelly belt, my white Hermes sandals, and then also my new Kelly bag. I would wear it like that. But don't just think with white and green, when you have anything like this, you absolutely can wear it with a lighter green. This is my Vert Criquet in the loop bag. And this also goes really, really well with this dress as well. So this dress is like an off the shoulder dress. So as you can see, I just slung this crossbody over it. That also casualizes it. And I've got my little Rodeo in the matching Vert Criquet there as well. But if you didn't like off the shoulder, they also come, I haven't worn this yet, with straps. So you can attach the straps on if you didn't like the off the shoulder look. So a great summery dress. I'll be definitely bringing this on my travels when hubby and I go to Europe at the end of July. I'm super excited. So that is the final piece that I picked up from Goelia. So that is it for this video, guys. My new rare Lizard Kelly 32 Cellier. I love it so much. I hope you found the styling useful. I know a lot of you wanted more affordable luxury in terms of clothing pieces. So I hope I was able to show you in how to style green bags. So again, I also wanted to quickly show a quick size comparison. This is my Kelly 32 Retorn and Kelly 32 Cellier. So the Cellier will always look slightly bigger than the Retourne. If you want to see my Kelly comparison video and more in depth between a Cellier and a Retourne, I will link it above. And especially with bigger bags coming back, don't be afraid to look on the pre-loved market or re really reputable auction houses where you can find these bags. It's still expensive, but not crazy, crazy prices. So that is how I was able Able to obtain like one of my dream combinations in one of my favorite colorways. And don't forget to use my exclusive code, which is MIM28, only for 72 hours, and that gets you 28% off site wide. It's the highest code only for the MIM fam. So thank you all so much for watching. Comment below what was your favorite outfit I styled with my green bags, and did you like that kind of styling video? Besides unboxing my Hermes bags, I know you guys also 
also want me to make it sort of more educational. I hope that all the mod shots and I hope that those mood boards helped you guys in sort of like putting together some of your outfits. So thank you so much for watching. Love you heaps. Have a great day or night and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.